hello and welcome to Blow Average Gaming. I'm your host, the Blow Average Gamer, and as you can see, this episode is a little different than others. Most episodes where I play Minecraft, I'm in the Hello Miner server. Here, I'm introducing an idea that I hope to see, <coughs> excuse me, potentially implemented into the Hello Miner server. I've built a test course here for a game that I've thought about and had in the works for a long time, and I think it's time to see what people think. I think it'd be interesting to see how people thought about this game and what their ideas and opinions are. This game is Golem Capture, Capture the Golem, whatever you want to call it. Um, defend your base, anything you want to call it. I, I don't care. Reds versus blues, just like the popular show. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's pretty simple, pretty easy. Basically, what happens is you have a golem. Your goal is to defend that golem. Once that golem dies, your team loses. So you have to do whatever you can to defend this golem. Get it? Pretty easy. Maybe you're a shooter. Maybe you're someone who's, uh, let me give me a sec. I'm gonna, I don't have anything in my hand for this. There we go. Maybe you're a person who's a fighter, maybe you're a defender, I don't care. Basically the rules are that any city who makes a field for this game can edit that field in any way. There are just a couple rules. The first rule is both sides have to be um, symmetrical by mirror images of one another. Not mirror images, but caddy quarter images, you know. Basically so that it's, it's even. If I come out of the blue side and there's a tree to my left, I should come out of red side with a tree to my left. So it should be perfectly even, no side has a greater advantage. That's the first rule. Second rule is these walls here with the white on them must stay. It, it defines that no matter what, there is a sense of familiarity with the course. So the walls on the outer perimeter here like this, the red ones with the white on top and the blue ones with the white on top must stay. Um, other rule is the bases must stay in their correct position. These fields are 76 by 51. So 76 by 51. Um, makes things pretty pretty easy. Yeah, so this is the middle area. Basically anything can be added in here. On this one, I've added these little shorter walls. So these would be added or taken away. And my whole idea is they give you a little bit more cover from archers. Um, while not giving you full potential to just hide here the entire time. So they have to really hit you in order to get you there. And it also gives a little bit more, you know, like I said, it's going to give a little bit more differentiation between fields. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Back here, you have this. So what you could do, if I can walk, is you may be a person who's like, okay, I'm just going to run and sneak around the side. Well, now you're kind of stuck in this corridor until you get over there. So if someone starts shooting at you or runs at you with a sword, you're kind of screwed. You have to duck out here to where now you're out in the open. Better hope blue team doesn't have any archers. And yeah, like I said, it's a pretty simple game. Um, it can be a little bit more complicated if that's what needs to happen, you know, making it so if you're a defender, you're a defender. You can't leave beyond this line. And that's kind of what I made these rules for was if you want to make it a little bit more complicated, you can't. So if you're a defender, say you make it so, I don't know if the server could, but you make it so the defenders actually can't pass this line. They have to stay over here and you are an assigned defender, whereas the offensive players are able to leave. But yeah, like I said, pretty simple. I toyed with a couple ideas, putting a window here so that if you do have an archer, um, they can just shoot straight through and you kind of have to run across and try to take out that archer before anything but I feel like um, if your team is decent and you have a great archer that kind of defeats the purpose you know it would make it so that you just have to have one really good player on their team but this is just a basic attack and defend strategy let me know what you think I'm gonna post this on the uh, forums page so comment down below on the forums if you're on the forums do so on the forums comment what you think on the forums there uh, is this a game that you'd like to see is this something you'd like to see implemented would you play this game because I have no problem building a field, but I want to make sure that if it's built, it is utilized. You know, this is a lot of space. Um, not a lot of build time went into this, but if it's a lot of space, you know, I'd probably put grass, make it look nice, stuff like that. I think that a lot of people would do the same thing, grass and stone. Make it maybe look like uh, an ancient Aztec place. Maybe make it look like it's medieval. Maybe make it look like ruins. Whatever. Um, it, there's a lot of free form here to do, and that's what I really wanted. It was a game that's simple and easy, but at the same time, there's some differentiation that makes it that, you know, if you say, oh, we're going to be having a game on Thursday at the uh, Sudbury Stadium, you know, oh, okay, so the Sudbury Stadium, they tend to do more desert-based stuff, they tend to like more trees, so I have to be sure that I'm ready to weave in and out, make sure that I can bob and move. I'm probably going to need a sword rather than an arrow because of how they tend to do it. Or if you have one where it's, you know, a different city, say Desert City has one, and you say, oh, Desert City tends to keep it nice and open, so I'm going to want to bring a bow and arrow rather than a sword but you just kind of get to know your fields and you kind of understand um, that's where you get your home field advantages is just that same 
mentality. So again, let me know what you think down below. Um, is this something you're like you're, you can see happening? I'm gonna put a poll as well, so be sure to vote on that. Um, and if you vote no, let me know your reasoning. You know, if you say no, I don't think this would be played. Is it just because you think people don't? Do you think that games in game are unpopular? Is it because you think this game's not gonna work? What do you think? Just let me know in the comments below. It means a lot. Um, how would you change this? How would you edit it? Again. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you so much. So much more than you know. I, darn it, I love you. You're fantastic. And, uh, bye.